This is the Brother Henry and You Show, where you can be inspired, uplifted, and edified through the Word of God. Now enjoy today's program. Psalms chapter 138 says, I will praise you with my whole heart. Before the gods, I will sing praises to you. I will worship towards your holy temple and praise your name. Why? For your loving kindness and your truth. For you have magnified your word above all your names. In the day when I cried out, you answered me and made me bold with strength in my soul. And truly, we need that strength. We need that boldness in our soul, especially when we're weak. I believe that Christ comes in our hearts much stronger when we're weak. He, he shows himself strong in our lives when we're weak. So just as the scripture says, cry out to the Lord with your whole heart. Tell the Lord about all your problems and all your troubles and he will meet you there. God bless you. I'm so delighted you took this opportunity to watch today. My name is Brother Henry Harris and you are watching and Brother Henry and you show. Today we have Sister Jeanette Brody from the Goodman Full Gospel Church under the leadership of Pastor Virgil Sherwood. It is such a pleasure to have her here today. I'm going to be interviewing her on the topic, what does a godly woman look like? Exactly what does a godly woman look like? We'll talk about that here in a few minutes. Before we do that, I would like to say a quick prayer for you. Lord, I thank you for that, that man that woman, that boy, that girl, that may be watching right now, Father. I pray, Lord, that some will be sent that will minister to them in a powerful way during this interview, Lord. Holy Spirit, we ask you to take complete control. Lord, we ask you to have your way, Lord, in this table, Lord. May your spirit rest, Lord, on this video, wherever it's going, Lord, whoever's watching, Lord. May the Holy Spirit penetrate their hearts, Lord. Jesus' name. Lord, there's a young lady that may be watching that don't know how to live a godly life. May there be something that we share, Lord, that Sister Jeanette will share <clears throat> that will motivate them to want to do the right thing, to want to live a godly life as Christ would want us to do. And we give you the praise in Jesus' sweet and precious name. Amen. Again, it is a pleasure to have Sister Jeanette brother here with me today. Uh, I've known her for quite some time. Uh, I don't know, when, when the first time we met? Mm, I think it's when you came to preach here yeah. uh, several years <laughs> ago, actually. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I thought so. You know, we're talking about what does a godly woman look like, and I, I'm not necessarily talking about how they dress. I, I firmly believe that when the Lord comes into somebody's heart, especially if they're a new believer, the Lord will teach them and train them what they should wear, where they should go. But I'm more talking about the intent of the heart. That's right. Because uh, I believe once the Lord comes and changes that young woman's heart, or any woman, I believe that's what develops godly character in that young lady. <clears throat> you can kind of look at this both ways. Uh, the topic is what does a godly woman look like? But you can also look at what does a godly man looks like? And the scripture, we're going to start out with this scripture. It's in, um, it says, Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. So my first question uh, to you, Sister Jeanette, is the fear of the Lord is a unique mark of a godly woman, but what does it mean when it says fear the Lord? Fear of the Lord? Yes. I believe that... Uh you need to you need to have a fear of the Lord uh -huh. because uh, well if you're not afraid of going going to hell yeah <laughs> then that is your fear you yeah. know when you're saved you fear going to hell and anybody that doesn't know and about you heaven do the and right hell thing. that's right you yeah. you live a good life and and the way that you learn to do that is by the scripture mm -hmm. amen oh why why is it important to be a godly woman? Well, um... I mean, what... Doesn't somebody be watching, they're like, okay, you're talking about 
what a godly woman look like and how a godly woman should live. But in the back of their mind, they're like, why is that important? How does that apply to me? Why is that important? Well, it's important to me for respect mm -hmm. from other people, kind of. Uh, my family knows that I go to church mm -hmm. and that um, there's just certain things that I don't do. There's mm -hmm. th certain things that I don't want going on around me mm -hmm. because you I fear... You talked about that earlier. Yes, I fear the Lord. Mm -hmm. I, I, I fear what... You know, you're easily drawn back into things of the world mm -hmm. if you participate in things of the world. Mm -hmm. So... Um, I believe that if you if you don't want to participate in it, you should let the world know that you're a Christian, and and in doing that, people perceive you to be a godly person. Amen. And if uh, if a person, a woman, or a man is living a godly life, as you talked about earlier, they they will want to fear the Lord. Yes. I think there are two types of fears. Uh, there's there's one fear that people say where you're supposed to be afraid of God and be scared of Him. But there's another fear that is called reverence, yes. respect. Uh, it's not that, you, you're, that you're afraid of the Lord, that you're scared of Him. It's just that you fear Him because you respect Him or you reference Him because you want to obey Him. Yes. And I think every woman that's watching and every man needs to apply that. It's just like a fire. I think I talked about that one time here. Um, you can go to that, go to a stove and you can put your hand on the stove, but there's a but you respect that fire so much where you say, you know what, <laughs> or you, right. it's a fear. You say, I'm not going to do that. You have respect for that fire because you know if you touch it, you're going to get burnt. Let's well, say where it is with the Lord. Yeah. You know, if you love the Lord, you're not going to want to hurt his heart, and sin hurts his heart. Yeah. And I think God is calling us to holiness. He's calling us to live a righteous life. And if we say we're godly, I believe, as you said, we should try to live that. Uh, why is it important that a godly woman must maintain a positive attitude? Oh, I think that uh, <coughs> if you're down, downtrodden and so depressed all the time, all yes, the time. If, if that's all that you see, you know, if you don't put that out of your mind, uh, God... Is not he does not plant fear in us. He does no, he not don't. plan us to be like that. Uh -huh. He he plans on us being a happy person. He mm -hmm. says that we are a joyful person, and so uh, I think that you need that. Amen. You have to be like that. I if you go around downtrodden all the time, then you have a problem in your life, and you need to go back to the altar and get it straightened out. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. How do you recognize a godly woman? And and I'm not just talking about I'm not just talking about the physical looks. I'm talking about the you know spiritual. How, how do you recognize a godly woman? By her actions. And I do believe I I'm not trying to interrupt, but I do believe that looks got a lot to do with it. Yes. But, um, I think their actions a lot tell yeah. whether they're a godly person or not. Um, you know. Uh, your language, your mm -hmm. body language, mm -hmm. your the language that comes out of your heart, that comes out of your mouth, mm -hmm. that that all speaks volumes to me about what a person is. And you know, if you listen to a person very long, you'll find out <laughs> just what kind of a person they are. Your demeanor, your character. That's right. That's you, right. you can tell. It's, it's, I know the first thing they say, "Oh, you're judging me." No, it's not even that. It's just you can tell by looking at an individual by the way they carry themselves. Yeah. If that's a man or woman or God. You can, you can. And I've always been told that your true character is when, is when people don't see you. That's right. That's the true you. That's right. Um, the Bible says in Proverbs 18, verse 22, it says, He that finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor of the Lord. What traits should a single young man look for in a godly woman? If there's a single young man and he's like, he's praying persistently, Lord, I need a wife in my life. Send me a wife. I was the same way. What traits do that young man need to look for in that woman? I think that you don't uh, need to be afraid to be a woman mm -hmm. to start with. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be afraid to take care of your household. Mm -hmm. uh, I take care of my household and I don't mind doing so. Mm -hmm. I don't mind uh, taking care of my family. Mm -hmm. I 
even babysit it from time to time because mm -hmm. I like to be around children. Mm -hmm. If I was looking for a wife, I would want somebody that wanted children, mm -hmm. wanted to be in my home, and wanted to take take care of her family. Amen. Why should a godly woman be obedient to the Lord? Well, if she's not obedient to the Lord, she's not going to be obedient to her husband either. You know, the husband is the head of the house, mm -hmm. and a godly woman knows that. Um, we need to be obedient to the Lord because He gives us the directions that we need to take. Amen. Why is it important that a godly woman needs to connect or unite with a godly man? You know how Scripture talks about don't be unequally yoked yes. with the unbeliever? Why is that such a big deal? Right. That's what most people would say. Why is that important that a godly woman cannot be with an ungodly man? Well, because an ungodly man wants to do things that a godly woman wouldn't want to do. Uh, there's just things that go on in the world that an ungodly man will want to get out there and do mm -hmm. that godly women just don't want to do. And you find that uh, if you're married to an ungodly man, it, it just causes you problems. Mm -hmm. It causes major problems in a, in a marriage. You can't... I, I don't really know that a man can be the head of your house if he's ungodly. Yeah. <laughs> because, you know, as God is the head over the man, <coughs> the man is the head over the woman. And, and maybe some people don't believe that, but I do because the Bible says that. Amen. I was thinking also as you were speaking how Scripture talks about uh, the husband needs to love their wives as Christ right. loves the church. Right. And then I thought about it. If that husband have not experienced the love of Christ, how can he love his That's wife right. as Christ right. loves the church? Um, I feel like there are... Uh, men that have not been saved that love their wives, but it's a different it's, love it's different. than the godly love that yeah. they have. It's, yes. it's, it's different. Yeah. Um, from the heart of a woman, which I'm talking about you, what could you say from your heart to that woman that's watching right now that's trying to live a godly life, trying to live a righteous life? She's trying to do everything that's pleasing to the Lord. I mean, directly from your heart, what, what could you say well, I can say I served the Lord a long time. There was a period of time that I didn't serve the Lord. How many years? I, um, I don't know. 10 or 15 years, maybe. That's still I a didn't. Long time. But I have served the Lord since I was probably in the seventh grade, and I've been out of school at 45. So, oh, you know, wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love going to church, I love taking care of my family. I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to be a, a good wife and a good mother. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything wrong with um, stating that you love the Lord and that He takes care of you and your family. Um, just stand up for what you believe. You know, if you don't do that, then the world around you will pick you out soon that you are not a godly person. So stand up for what you believe and don't be afraid to say, I love the Lord. And, He's the head of our house, and as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much.